Jim? Well, I did. You were first on the list. I'll let you go now. Okay. I appreciate what you got in. I talked about that for not being here. Something, something wrong with the world about traffic.
actually on the subcommittee that is overseeing this, Education and Workforce, and he is actually he's on the committee and the subcommittee that are handling this. We have his support. We have Austin's support for putting this flexibility in. Um, we have met with Senator Isaacson and Senator Purdue staff that were both on site last week and talked to them about it. We expect to have their support as well. There's been a marker bill introduced in the Senate, but nothing has been introduced in the House yet. The marker bill that's in the Senate is just for summer, but it has some of this flexibility in there that we want, that we need. It's not quite there. It's a good jumping off point uh, to begin negotiations, as we like to say. So does anybody have any questions about? Do you have that number? The Senate bill number? I do not, but I will get it and I will email it to you. It's called the Hunger Free Summer for Kids Act. The non hunger and feeding water you mentioned on the first page. Yes. And, uh, is, that, is that a requirement for consuming meals on the site? That, that's absolutely it. <laughs> that is, the children have to go to one place, take the South Side Rec as a good example. They congregate on one location and we provide the meals, the sites dish them up and feed them through that they have to consume them there and be on site for a specified period of time and they have to be provided an enrichment activity at the same time for us. It's usually homework assistance, tutoring, arts and crafts, those kind of things. In the summertime, it's also required. And if we had the flexibility to not do the two, we have a waiver, the non feeding waiver, then we could build some things like our mobile food pantry and a backpack program. So I could go and drop off, put it in a child's hands three days worth of meals and get three times as many or kids in one week because if I don't have to go to the same place every single day, then logistically I can cover a whole lot more. And so yes, they are required to all sit down and consume the food on site. If they don't finish there, they can't walk out with it. Um, if they have an apple, if they have whatever left, they cannot leave the premises. Anybody else have questions? Another question? Yes, sir. Thank you a lot. Thank you.